Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about degrees and salaries. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Hi Frederick, I've been told that having a degree would lead to heftier salaries in companies. Although this is not a compelling reason, my quote unquote immature perspective is that being a good developer is what matters and not a piece of paper. My question would be, do you think that at some point a degree will be important even after some years spent in the industry? I expect that it would depend on the company, but I wouldn't be sure I'd want to work for such a company if the degree is more important, important than the skills and passion for the craft. Thank you. Uh, this is one of those where I kind of just have to say that yes there would it's conceivably possible that there is a company out there that has some really weird priorities um, and would favor someone who has a degree over somebody who doesn't have a degree in terms of setting salary after years of working but guys um, that would be similar to um, how you've probably heard me say a few times that it is possible conceptually for someone to take a boot camp of like a month or something and then become a software developer it's it's far from the norm is what I would tell you and it's the same thing here it's not I've never seen this happen not the not 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 once. I've never mean, never even talked to anybody where this has come up. Where someone who is a seasoned or like a trained software developer get paid less because they don't have a degree when they have the skills and the experience to do the job. It's I mean, guys, people don't even care where you studied after a few years. It's so irrelevant that we don't even talk about it. Because, as I like to say, the gold standard is work experience. It's the only thing most of the industry cares about. I would say the majority, it's the norm, it is the only... it's, uh, it's really only uh, important where you studied when you're just getting into the industry. That's the only time it has a factor. It's actually funny because it's it's like you, people go to well, what I assume are very expensive colleges and schools and things like that, and you pay a lot of money to get a piece of paper, like a degree, for it to become software developers and so forth. And as I've said in other videos, like that piece of paper, it's just a way for you to get in the door. But you can get the same education anywhere. You can get it from any college. You don't have to go to the fanciest schools because they. I can basically promise you that it's unlikely that they will have something to offer that the uh, other schools will not. I mean, of course, you still have to have a decent... Uh, dis that's what it should be, right? A more expensive college or university should give you a better education. That's not always the case, but it's it, what I'm saying is that it's such a non-factor that the, the degree is really only ma only matters for the purposes of figuring out if a company is going to hire a junior software developer on their first job or something like that. That's the only thing, because the company just wants a p this piece of paper, usually now, uh, to feel confident in that you have basic training. That's it. That's all it is there to do. To prove that you have made a first initial investment, that you, you know, so they don't have to teach you what a variable is or stuff like that, that you should be able to do something meaningful in the code base. And then once uh, that, it's like a hand stamp, stamped, and now you have start. Now you start working, and af even after a few months, that th those months will matter more than the degree. I promise you that it's going to matter more. The only exception to this rule I can imagine is if you work in a very niched area, such as, say, uh, more academic sort of work or things that are more um, algorithmically inclined or things that are more uh, 
you know, maybe machine learning, maybe something like that, data science, etc., etc. But even then, I can't even imagine why your education has any bearing on anything. Because, as I like to say, the, it's it's all about the results. It's always going to be a, going to be about results. No, no company is going to make money from a degree. They're going to make money from what you produce. So, what I want you to take away from this is that no. I don't think that there will come a time where you regret not getting a degree from uh, if you, uh, assuming now that you actually have the skills uh, if you're self-taught or however you got the, your your skills right uh, because that's the thing that is important I because I'm very openly advocating to get yourself a university degree if it's very expensive or something like that you you of course you can skip it it's not a hard requirement it's just it, it's it, because that's the thing about being self-taught or having a degree uh, to be a good holistically solid software developer that theory that you get from the university it's really good to have it's re it, it really is good to have it's not that you have to go to university to get that knowledge it's just easier to get it uh, because the university universities are usually structuring courses in a way that makes that more accessible for you. You can go and learn it yourself, but usually self-taught developers, uh, I like to say that they uh, what they lack in theory, they make up for in tooling. Because most of what you find on the internet, if you try to become a software developer on your own, uh, it's really down to your ability to Google and find pieces of information and figure out how to do things and almost all boot camps and all courses online everything like that it's usually focused more around tooling and of course there are theory, theory there's theory and stuff like that as well it's just it makes it a little bit easier so that piece of paper so I'm very for it but I don't want people to think that not having it makes you less of a developer or makes it so that you're gonna be like this you know uh, untouchable thing in the future that you're gonna regret after 10 years that you didn't get that degree unless as I said you don't fix the knowledge gap because if you fix the knowledge gap and you know what you need to know then the piece of paper is really just a piece of paper and the thing that sets your salary well that's mostly based on your own performance and how you maneuver your career. It has never, I've never seen it have any bearing. Uh, your uh, your degree has never, I've never seen that have a bearing on what your end salary becomes. Have a great day.